B L A C K. It's a word that I don't mind to say. It reminds me of what my ancestors did back in their day. Black, it comes out just like that. All in a five letter pack with several facts. African Americans like you and me went through so much pain in our history. You got Harriet Tubman who freed 75,000 slaves, risking her life every single day. African Americans went through so much more than what you think. Some never rose, but always sink. They've been raped, abused, murdered, and killed. Sometimes I wish I can go back and see how they truly feel. But then you got Jackie Robinson, the first African-American man to hold a real Major League Baseball bat in his own black hands. Just think, way back in the day when African-Americans were slaves, each and every day they were pray that they soon would be free from their shames. I have another African-American succeeder. Her name, Shirley Chisholm. You might be surprised, but she was the first African-American Congresswoman. African-American slaves, only some were buried in a grave. The rest had gotten thrown into a lake. November 4, 2008, Barack Obama became the first black president of the United States. Continuing on to his second term, he's still the executive, and that's confirmed. I'm proud of my history. I know how bad they fought in the past just for me. I am the result of their pain and misery. To this day and on, I will live their dream of being free. Watch out world. Nap, nap, Watch out world. Nap, hey nap, everybody. Da. Welcome to the show, Watch Out World. I'm your host, Cassie Johnson. In honor of Black History Month, this month's hot topic is African American Ancestry, or you can call it Triple A. As you see, I'm supporting my African American heritage as well. You see, I'm in my own dashiki. But anyway, I've decided to interview two students, male and female, about two female and male activists. One you may be already familiar with, but the other you might just find out about a whole new activist. But now, it's your turn to take a look into our African American ancestry. My name is Dominique Terry. I attend Morant School. I'm going to tell you about Diane Nash. Diane Nash was born May 15, 1938 in Chicago, Illinois. Diane Nash attended Fisk and Howard University. Diane Nash was one of the major leaders in the 1960s sit-ins. She also joined the Freedom Riders in Alabama. Diane Nash is still living today at the age of 76. She has two children, she was married, she got divorced, and now she is remarried. My name is Cameron Gary. I attend Colonial Middle School. I am here to tell you about Mr. W.E.B. Du Bois. Mr. Du Bois was born February 23rd, 1868 in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. He attended Harvard University. He insisted on full civil rights and increased political representation for blacks. He helped people realize that people of African American descent had a voice too. Du Bois rose to national prominence as the leader of the Niagara Movement, a group of African American activists who wanted equal rights for African Americans. 
He died in Accra, Ghana, August 27th, 1963. He was 95 years old. I hope you made a great understanding about these activists, Diane Nash and W.E.B. Du Bois. Both made a great contribution to our African-American history. And hopefully, you made knowledge on a new female activist. But last but not least, don't forget to watch out world. Nap, nap, da. Watch out world. Nap, nap, da.